Hello again everyone, Edwin Learn back once again. In this YouTube NFL prediction segment, I'm going to be talking about my picks for Week 10 of the 2013-14 NFL season. Well, the first game is going to be, I'm going to take the Washington Redskins over the Minnesota Vikings. I think the Redskins can get the road win because mainly it's just the simple fact that Washington right now you know just a little bit better and you know Minnesota you know they got their long win against the Steelers they had an opportunity last week I thought they squandered it and you know now it's going to be a short week for them in trying to recover from kind of a you know looks like a little bit of a devastating loss a game they should have had against the Cowboys I'm going to go with the skins in this one on the road and RG Griffin the third I think he's going to have a you know decent game tonight Next game, I'm going to take the Seattle Seahawks on the road over the Atlanta Falcons. Um, Atlanta, uh, Seattle Seahawks right now um, second in um, opposition on um, passing yards. I believe they're tied for the league lead in interceptions defensively. One of the better defensive teams, you know, will, will play this way continually the rest of the season. I believe, you know, one of the top, you know, in terms of uh, scoring and total defense. Safeties, cornerbacks, they're, they're just simply phenomenal. I think you know, Seattle is playing well. You look at the Atlanta Falcons, they've been floundering lately. This is obviously not the same team that uh, went to the NFC title game last season. Uh, Matt Ryan's going to have to have a s step up and somehow get out and conquer this almost impregnable defense the Seahawks have. And I think it's going to be very tough on him tonight. I'm going to, I mean, for uh, Sunday, I'm going to go with the Seahawks. Now, the next game. It's kind of a tough one. I'm going to take Detroit on the road over the Chicago Bears. Now, there's some speculation with the Bears. Is it going to be McCowan or Cutler for the quarterback? If Cutler comes back, I don't think he's going to be 100%. McCowan had a good game the last game he played, but I don't know if he could continue it. Um, Matthew Stafford is really becoming one of the more superlative quarterbacks in this, in this league. And, um, you know, the Detroit Lions, you know, I think they, they can be a team that can be an offensive juggernaut, and I see them going on to Chicago and beating them. Now, the next game, I'm going to take Green Bay at home over the Philadelphia Eagles. I know the, the Philadelphia quarterback last week threw for seven touchdown passes, and that's tied an NFL record, but I wouldn't get too high on them right now. I understand the Green Bay Packers don't have Aaron Rodgers, but they still have the Green Bay home field advantage mystique, and I do believe they're not going to lose two consecutive games at home. I believe they take this game, and I'm going to go with the Packers. The next game, I'm going to take the Tennessee Titans at home over the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, the Jaguars are robust 2-24. Um, I believe Tom said 2-22 in their last 24 games. They have, um, they really about the only thing going for them, they have a player that's fourth in, um, in tackles in the league, Paul uh, Puzleski or something um, similar. He's, uh, you know, Maurice Jones-Drew has been a major disappointment. I believe he's only had like one game where he's had 100 or more yards uh, rushing in a game. Um, the team is um, dead last in um, scoring um, scoring offense. They can't defend right now. I believe they're 31st in, um, in run defense. I expect Chris Johnson of the Tennessee Titans to have an outstanding game. Um, Chris Johnson, I would expect him to get 150 yards on the ground in this one, really, at, le at least minimum 125, possibly 150 or more, and I'll take the Titans at home. Next game, I'm going to go with the Indianapolis Colts over the St. Louis Rams. The Indianapolis Colts just have the uncanny ability to win, whether they're annihilating a team like the 49ers or they're making a come-from-behind victory against the Texans like last week. I think um, Andrew Luck is showing that he's really come into his own, and last year wasn't an aberration. It wasn't a one-year wonder thing. He is the real deal. He's, he may go down as one of the better quarterbacks, at least we've seen, as far as a contemporary you know, quarterback in our, in our era right now. Um, I do tell and St. Louis has been, you know, they've been floundering. They've not really, um, they have not really played well. I had, they had that game against Houston, and I was thinking, okay, okay, they blow out Houston at Houston. Well, maybe this team's on the rise, but it seems like since they lost their quarterback, Sam Bradford, things just aren't the same. I'm going to take Indy at home. Next game, 
I'm going to take the New York, uh, I should say the resurgent New York Giants at home. They won two consecutive games. They're just playing the Raiders. The Raiders are 0-3 on the road, and the Giants have won the two consecutive games. They are um, have a little bit of momentum going for them. I'm going to take the G-men, Eli Manning, to come out have a good game. Next game, I'm going to take the Pittsburgh Steelers at home over the Buffalo Bills. Pittsburgh Steelers have dominated the series in recent time. They're 8-1 in their last nine overall versus the Bills. 9-2 and all-time at home versus them. It might maybe a competitive game because we're looking at a Steelers team that's kind of a lackluster team right now, and it doesn't resemble you know the defensive powerhouse we've seen in years past. However, um, Ben Roethlisberger against Buffalo and quarterback E.J. Manuel for Buffalo is questionable. He's not 100%, and if they put their back up in, I think it's curtains for the Bills. I'm going to go with the Steelers at home. Next game. Years past, I wouldn't have probably done this, but I'm going to take the Cincinnati Bengals on the road over the Baltimore Ravens. Cincinnati has played, you know, they're, you know I picked them for the AFC North title this season. And I guess to justify this, I need to pick them over the Baltimore Ravens in this game. Baltimore Ravens are, you know, very sporadic team. They're up and down. Since he had a game, I thought they should have won last week at Miami. I think they redeem themselves and they get a good win against the Baltimore Ravens on the road this week. San Francisco 49ers, I'm going to take them over the Carolina Panthers. Now, the um, the San Francisco 49ers, you know, they get all their you know accolades to their quarterback and Mr. Versatility can run and throw the ball, but they are third in total defense. That's going to play a role in this game. Carolina Panthers have played very well. They've beaten teams by an average of like 24 points in their wins this season. They are second in total defense. They, um, they're a team, I mean, right now, you know, that could be on the rise, but they are on the road. This is a tough place to win. I think it's going to be too much of Colin Kaepernick, too much of running for the 49ers, I think. You know, I, I believe at home they should get this win. I'm taking the 49ers. Now, the next game, I'm going to take Arizona at home over Houston, Texas. Arizona has not played bad this season. They are 3-1 and one at home this season. They have a Houston team that is basically, you know, falling apart. They remind me of like a dilapidated building that just keeps losing a piece week after week. And sadly, you know, their coach, you know, had, um, you know, uh, had collapsed uh, last week and, you know, might have played a role in Indy coming back and beating them. Uh, this team is, uh, you know, they had their promising 2-0 start, have lost them six consecutive games. And, and when I looked at the at the stats, I thought my eyes were deceiving me. Houston, I believe, is still up there in the total defense. But, you know, they just keep finding ways um, to lose one way um, or another. And, and I just don't see them winning this one. I think Arizona gets this at home. Next game. I'm going to take the Denver Broncos on the road over the San Diego Chargers. Denver, you know, they're lauded for their offensive exploits and ability and Peyton Manning on this record-setting pace for yards and this and that. But they're tied for interceptions on the defensive end with 13. The defense, you know, could come in and play this game very well. This might be a little bit more of a slightly lower scoring game than we might think. But at the same time, I believe it's probably going to be in the 30s for probably both teams or, or at least like 30s for Denver and maybe late 20s for San Diego. I take Denver. It's got a little more, um, a little better defense, a little more offensive firepower. I'll go with the Broncos on the road. Next game, I'm gonna take the, the New Orleans Saints at home over the Dallas Cowboys. Now, New Orleans is averaging 27.0 points per game. Their defense has improved dramatically. Um, Dallas is actually score, averaging almost 29 points per game. Um, that their uh, defensive player Sean Lee is uh, tied for the league lead in tackles, also tied for the league lead in interceptions. He's been really a remarkable surprise for them. This game could be very competitive, actually. At New Orleans at home, I give them the advantage. They're gonna, uh, they will, they will take this game and they will, uh, they will defeat Dallas. Uh, next game, last but not least, I'm gonna take Miami on the road over Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I mean, Tampa Bay has yet to win a game. Miami, even though they had four consecutive losses before last week, they showed little signs of turning their season around with a pretty good win over the Cincinnati Bengals. 
I'll take the Miami um, Miami Dolphins on the road. I look for a close win over the Tampa Bay Bucks, though. Well, people, that will conclude this YouTube NFL prediction segment for Week 10 of the 2013-14 NFL season. And stay tuned next time, where I'll be giving my analysis and predictions for Week 11 of the 2013-14 NFL season. And until next time, people, stay well.